How do I look? Okay. Oh, gee, you know how to make a girl feel special. You're only going to band practice. Yeah, well, I'm trying out a new image, aren't I? Thought I'd go a bit boho. You are the singer in a pub band. Nobody cares about your image. Right, well, I don't know what time I'll be back because JD's taking me for a drink. Is he? Yeah. Rang me last night, said he needs to talk to me on the own. Does he now? I reckon he might be about to sack me. Sack you? Well, he just seemed really weird when I spoke to him. Wouldn't tell me what it was about. Of course he's not going to sack you. You're the only one in the band with any talent. They're lucky to have you. Are they? Yeah, look, you go and enjoy yourself and, uh, you look really hot, by the way. Thanks. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Mm. What an amazing day. Felt like a dream. So what were your top five best bits? Oh, I don't know. It was all fantastic. Oh, go on, top five, please. OK, but only if you go and get me a pad and pen. We'll write down he brought us all these presents, then we can send them thank you cards. Hey, we could do the thank you cards from Paris. Yeah, we could sit on the top of the Eiffel Tower and write them. What time do we have to leave, by the way? About six. Right, go on then. Number five. Oh, OK. Number five, the horse-drawn carriage. Oh, you didn't think it was naff? No, it was beautiful. I felt like... A celebrity. A princess. Same thing. Number four. Um, number four, the dress. Rhapsody Blanco. It was so beautiful. Every five minutes there was, like, a totally amazing surprise. A fair, I what to tell you. And I've got customers to serve. Hey, haven't the place is dead? Could be a stampede any second now. Roy's only gone upstairs to check his bid on internet. I'll be back in a minute. Not enough, I've let you down. Oh, I don't care anymore, I've moved on. I've pushed me luck, I know that, but I was just trying to make everybody happy. Yeah, especially Steve McDonald. There you go, we're arguing, it's a step forward. Don't get your hopes up, I still hate your guts. So, if I was to tell you that me and Michelle were definitely on our way out, you wouldn't be interested. No. Anyway, what are you on about on the way out? Dodos were on the way out for centuries. She's out with another bloke as we speak. Who? JD. From the band? Set him up. You set him up? Yeah, I know he fancies her. He's been sniffing around her for ages. You're pimping your own girlfriend? No, I'm just oiling the wheels. No, actually, do you know what? Pips won't sing solo. It's against the pimp code of conduct. <sighs> Look, there's been a definite vibe between them for ages. Am I meant to be impressed by this? Yeah, am I meant to be thinking, hello, hello, this is a bloke for me? Yes. Where's your stretch limo when you bling? Pimp. Had to up my bid another two pounds. Now it's just a waiting game. See you, mate. So come on then. Been acting funny all morning. You've obviously got something on your mind. No. How are things between you and Steve? Cool, yeah. I know you two have had your ups and downs. <laughs> Understatement of the year. <laughs> you know you deserve better. Better than what? Steve's great. Voice in great fettle today. But... No buts. You're singing really well. Mm. But there's this other chick you've seen, half my age, twice my cup size. <laughs> no, no way. You're perfect for the band. You're beautiful and sexy. Are you sacking me? No. Never. You're fantastic. <laughs> Jay, what are you doing? I thought it's what you wanted. <laughs> I don't know what gave you that idea. <sighs> Look, it, it's not that I don't like you, but, I, but I'm with Steve. The wonderful Steve? Yes. So wonderful he tries to fix you up with other blokes. What? This was his idea. He told me you and him are on the rocks. If I fancied having a crack, then go ahead. No way. Steve wouldn't do that. Wouldn't he? Ask him. <laughs> this is a joke. Please tell me this is a joke. Tell me exactly what Steve said. Every word of it. Number three. Uh, oh. uh, you mum being there. My ma'am? No way, she'd make it into my top five. I know, she's a total mare, but she's your mum. It was right that she was there on our big day. Yeah, I won't put it at three, though. OK, well, four, I'll swap it with the dress. Come on, let's open some more prezzies. Number two. 
Uh, number two, saying the wedding vows. See, I'd have to say that's probably my number one. Yeah. What about the wedding night? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one's off Rita, why don't you open it? <laughs> yes, Blanche. I'll serve Blanche. Large brandy and benedictine, please. You push any luck, Blanche. You'll have a small gin and be grateful. I fancy something different. I mean it. You want free booze, you stick to gin. I'll have a pina colada with a pineapple chunk and a plastic ornament or else. Uh, can you get Blanche a small gin and tonic for me, please? Practice go, right? You low life scheming. Oh, something happened. Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about, Steve. You want to dump somebody, you just do it. You don't try and fix them up with somebody else. You've been talking to JD? Yeah. Well, I don't know what he said, oh. but whatever it is. Don't do this, Steve. Look, please don't forget, he has tried to come in between us in the past. I feel like. Some dodgy second-hand car you just want shot of at any price. You should have just put a, a, a card up in Rita's window. Oh, no, look. Don't you touch me. Don't you dare touch me. I wish you'd tell me what's happened. Your little plan has backfired. JD told me everything. I don't know what you mean. And I thought about it all the way home. All makes sense. The way you've been behaving for the past... God knows how long! Do you want us to finish? But you're too spineless to go through with it. I'm right, aren't I? Steve, if you have got any respect for me, for us, then please try and be honest. It might be the first time, the only time in your life that you do it. Yeah, you're right, I want us to finish. So, how long have you felt like this? Couple of months. I don't know exactly. Knew there was something wrong. I've done for months. So, uh, what did you. Did you just wake up one morning, look in the bed next to you, and think, what's she doing here? I really like you. That's the problem. But you don't love me anymore. Well, you can't. Not on today's evidence. I felt like I had to keep trying to make it work. Stuff you've put up with is no wonder what bail. Look, it hasn't worked out between us. There's no one to blame. I'm just not cut out for all this. Cut out for what? All this. All these happy families, you know? I mean, I thought I was, but I'm, but I'm not. Is there somebody else? Sweat to me, Steve. Look, there's nobody else involved. It's just you and me. Why did you not just tell me that you felt like this? Lots of reasons. Not having a spine being one of them. Well, it's difficult, you know. We work together. There's Amy, Ryan to consider. I just can't believe that you tried to palm me off on somebody else. I thought that if I could get you and him together, then we could all come out of this with some dignity. You what? What, having a word in me make say she's yours if you want it? Oh, very dignified. Well, I genuinely thought that you and him made a lovely couple. I mean, there was a definite spark between you. Stop! Now, see, this is exactly why I've avoided telling you. Yeah. Look, it hasn't worked out between me and you. But we need to deal with this like grown-ups. For the kids' sake. Yeah. 
Listen, um, I've got some paperwork to do at the office. Can we talk about this later? Hello? Where'd you get this number from? Look, there is absolutely no point in hounding me for money I don't have. How you getting on painting them rats? Uh, I've given them a coat, they'll need another. Do you want to give us a hand looking these boilers in then? Sorry, mate. No pimps allowed. It's all kicking off over there. What, you know about she cut off with JD? No, but she really hates me for setting him up with her. I've got to get back inside. It's been nice knowing you. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Oh. We're right in the middle of a massive breakup here. Oh, God, you just do my head in. Turning up every five minutes with a progress report. I don't want to know anymore. I don't care. Becky, I'll be a free man by the end of the day. But you won't be, will you? Because she'll come back and you'll say, ooh, sorry, slight change of plan. I meant to chuck her, but I slept with her instead. Yeah. Well, I've changed my plans now, Steve, and I just don't want to know. Becky, I love you. Michelle is history. The fat lady's singing. It's too late, Steve. Hey, I've just had the projects manager on from Weavers. Job's been postponed. So there's no work? Oh, it's OK. I've got stuff lined up. But you can uh, knock off for today. Cool. Oh, right, OK. Uh, but I want you here tomorrow, 8 o'clock sharp. I'll be there. Hey, we're in the Rovers tonight, if you fancy one. Oh, cheers. Might just do that. He's keen, isn't he? Well, it's not a crime, Jason. I'm telling you, he's deep in the doo-doo. Who says? Ah, oh, you know, qualified chippy labouring for us. Well, is it a lean patch? Bill, he was on the phone to somebody. They were hassling him for money. Hey, he turns up on time. He graphs much harder than you do. And he doesn't complain. That's the only reference I need, lad. Sorry about that bit of urgent business. I want to sound like I'm groveling. But is there no way back for us? I don't think so. You used to love me. You deserve better than me. What if I don't want better? What if I want you? <laughs> anyway, you're right. We have to try and deal with this like adults. Well, I hope so. Took some dragging out of you, but you've been straight with me now, and I, and I appreciate that. I've always tried to be honest with you. Obviously, uh, I'm going to be up for job. Yeah, I think it's uh, best if we make a clean break, yeah? Not sure it was such a good idea, Ross, working here in the first place. I think we both tried to make a go of it, but it just didn't work out. There's no one to blame, there's no regrets. And I just hope we can both still be friends. Oh, uh, need a bit of time to sort out somewhere to live. Sorry, am I interrupting something? We're just... Uh... Splitting up. You might as well know, Steve. Still saving food? Way. Hi, what do you want? Pie and chips. I it was successful. All right. Roy's buying a compost bin off the internet. It, it's an odour-free kitchen compost caddy. What is that, like a golf caddy or something? Yep. And then you can wheel it round, and if he spots an apple core or a banana skin, and boom! It's purely for domestic use. I was only joking. Yes, I know. So you're going to go and pick it up now, then? Uh, yes, uh, the present owner is over in Bolton. Hayley's going to give me a lift in the woody. Can you manage? Yeah, I'll lock up. No worries. Have fun. Thank you. <clears throat> Oh. What was it you wanted again? Pie. Oh, I sit down. 
What flavour? Chicken, steak, whatever. Yeah. I've uh, been to see a solicitor today about getting a divorce. No, oh, I. Thought you'd be surprised. No. That's me now, back on the market, footloose and fancy free. Do you want beans? Hey. I'm ashamed to be your mother. I'm ashamed to be your son. You should have told her about Becky. It would have clouded the issue. You've been sleeping with another woman. That's the only issue. Talking of which, you need to go around and see her. Well, I'm due a break, so you'll have to wait. Poppy can't run this place on her own. Mum, this is important. Just this second, don't one. And now you're racing round to the other. Well, you can wait. I've been on my feet since eight o'clock this morning. Hiya, mate. Uh, fizzy water for me and... Uh, uh, white wine, sir. Dry white wine for the lady. So. so, how long are you going away for, then? Well, it's only for a couple of days, just to have a few loose ends in Portsmouth. Right. And uh, when were you planning on telling me? Well, I'm telling you now. So I'm going to be managing the place while you're gone, then? Well, that all depends if you're looking for money to go with your new job title. I just need to know I've got prospects, that's all. I think you've got fantastic prospects. Thanks, mate. Cheers. So are you going to take Simon with you, then? No, I'm going to leave him with my dad and Deirdre. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like being on the Generation game. Yeah. Oh, didn't we do well? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't believe how generous people are. What was all that about? Well, I told you I'm going to get Jack a new birdhouse, and I will. So I'm shocked at some of the prices have been quoted. Oh, don't worry. Won't be anything dodgy. Even I can't find a knockoff pigeon coop. Right, come on. We should be making a move. You yeah. got the tickets? No, you've got them. No. Well, didn't you put them in your pocket when we left the Rovers? No. Well, they must be here somewhere. You two put your glad rags on and I'll start looking for them. Um, I've got a better idea. Why don't we all look for them? Where's Steve? In the bar. Blimey. Talking dangerously. Hey, what a turn on. <sighs> anyway, he's got bigger fish to fry. It's finished with Michelle. She found out about Becky? She heckers like. No, he's trying to make out. It's an amicable split. No one to blame. You know, like Jen and Brad. <laughs> well, he's certainly the pits. Poor Michelle. She's in bits. Anyway, I haven't got long. Oh, come on. It won't be the first time that I've thrown my best Prezi out with wrapping paper. I did it last Christmas with this Polar Tech Police. Mole bought me. Any joy? They searched the pub high and low. Steve says he's sure we took everything away with us at the end. Do you know what does me head in? I remember seeing the envelope. Oh, I found it! Where? Where? Post. We must have put it there when we came in. Oh, what a blessed relief. Hang on. This is empty. Oh, don't tell me they've fallen out. Well, they can't have just fallen out. I remember seeing them in there yesterday. Oh, dear. What? what? I'm sorry to tell you, love, but I saw your mum sniffing about in the back room. She wanted to steal our honeymoon tickets. Oh, yes, she would. I had a feeling something weren't right. down by process of elimination. Oh. I went to the flat, oh. put the key in the door and it didn't work. No. So I rang the bell and a complete stranger came to the door. A woman, actually. I thought you were cheating on Gail for a minute. <sighs> a bit daft. She said that you weren't living there anymore. They gave me a huge wad of letters. Here. Oh, and I've looked through them. They're all bills, Dad. Now, I know we don't tell each other everything, but we normally know where each other's living. Yeah, I moved out a few weeks back, meant to tell you. you. You meant to tell me, and what, it just slipped your mind? Everything's fine, honestly. Is that a mattress? Uh, yeah. Are you living here? Just for a few days till I get myself sorted. What's going on, Dad? Molly and Tyrone have lost a Eurostar ticket, so if you find it... Oh, hello. You having a lie down? Oh, yeah. 
I'm really tired. You get off, I'm sure Becky must be waiting. Trying to get rid of me? No. Well, I think you are. He's here, isn't he? Who? You know who? Come out, Lloyd! Hey, uh... I cannot believe you are doing it under my roof! Yeah, I know. Don't apologise. Right, get out. Go on, get out the pair here before I throw you out! Hey, we're not a couple of kids! You can say that again. You got the combined age of Methuselah. This is my home. He is my guest. Get dressed, you trollop. Hey, don't talk to her like that. I'm warning you. Why are you so anti me and Lloyd? We're both free agents. We're not hurting anybody. Or lying to anybody. He will dump you. You will get hurt. Says who? We don't all live our life by your standards, thank God. It's perfect. It is not. Letting after an older woman. You're a perv. You're an OA paedophile. I'm warning you, kid. I'm warning you. I mean it. I mean it. Listen, I'm, come on then. Come on, stop it, the pair of you. You see you. Oh, yeah. Save your tears, Michelle. He's not worth it. He's a lying, cheating scumbag. I said get out of me pub. What did you just say? Shut it. She deserves to know the truth. What did you just say? Remember you kept asking me where he was the night he went a one. You're a dead man. Hey, you hounded me, begged me to tell you what the big mystery was. Well, it was Becky. I said shut it. The same woman he's been seeing behind your back ever since. Becky. <laughs> Oh dear, we're back in Coronation Street in half an hour. 